In today's video we are going to talk about the aircraft winglets or sharklets depending on the aircraft manufacturer. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. V1 rotate. One of the very common questions that you got asked during your pilot job interview is what are the winglets? Why we have the winglets on board of the aircraft? So very quickly, in order to answer these questions, you need to talk about lift. So how lift is generated? Lift on a wing is created by a high pressure which is located on the lower part of the wings and a low pressure that is located on the upper part of the wing. This high and low pressure around the wing will create lift, okay, and the lift makes sure that the aircraft keep flying. However, nature will tend to equalize the differences in pressure. So what will happen is that at the end of the wings, this differential pressure try to equalize. So what will happen is that some vortices will be created at the wing tips. The higher those vortices are the higher the induced drag does if you have more drag you need more power and you know if you need more power you fuel consumption will increase the start of the winglet started many years ago around 1973 where there was an oil crisis so the engineers need to come up with some solution in order to reduce the drag and reduce the fuel consumptions they saw that some birds were actually flying when they were flying especially gliding they their wings were curved upwards. So they tried to do that, some tests and they saw straight away by curving these wings upwards, so introducing these winglets, the differential pressure be between the upper part and lower part of the aircraft was yes equalized at the wing tip, but by these winglets, the vortices that were created by this pressure equalization at the top of the winglet was a lot less. Thus, since the vortices were less, the induced drag was lower, thus the total drag of the aircraft was reduced. Less drag, less power required, more fuel efficiency. So that's why they introduced these winglets. They saw that are very fuel efficient. What the aircraft manufacturers need to do is some cost and benefits analysis. So how much do we really save? Okay, the induced drag is less, thus the total drag is less and the power required to fly is less, so more fuel efficient. But how much is this weight? Because if you think about a very heavy winglet, yes, the induced drag is less, but if the aircraft weights increase a lot, you still need a lot of more power to fly because you fly with an heavier aircraft. So the aircraft manufacturers that goes into this studying and do they do these statistics and they come up with the right solution. That's why Airbus came later with the sharklets because at the beginning they did the calculations, their studies and their statistics and they thought that the benefits using the winglets were lower compared to the weight that was increased on their own aircraft. So that's why they use this wing fence at the tip of the wings. Okay guys, remember, if you gotta get asked this question throughout your pilot job interview, remember that the difference in pressure between the lower part and higher part of the wing will create vortices at the end of the wing because naturally in the atmosphere, the there is a tendency to equalize the differential pressure. So if you have a higher pressure and a lower pressure, as soon as the atmosphere can, will actually equalize this differential pressure. During when you have the wing, there is no problem because you have the wing in the middle that doesn't allow this pressure equalization. However, at the wing tip, when there is no wing anymore, they try to, the higher pressure will go on top of the wings, creating these vortices. These vortices are actually creating drag. The higher, the, the bigger the vortices, the higher the drag, the induced drag. And the higher the drag, the more thrust you need, so more fuel. So that's why by introducing these winglets, they saw that this, this pressure equalization at the wing tip, at the wing, at the top of the winglet was lower. So the effect of the vortices was lower, thus the induced drag was lower, less drag, less power, more fuel efficient. Remember, if you need an help for your pilot job interview preparation, go to pilotclimb.com where you can check the pilot job interview course that I prepared for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Check, we can set to 7-0 please.